Everyone, it's Preston Vanderbilt here today, and I'm back with another video for you guys today where we will talk about the difference between binary option oscillator indicators. There are a wide variety of technical indicators that are being applied into binary option trading strategies on a daily basis, many of them being moving averages, momentum indicators, lagging indicators, and oscillator type indicators. Knowing the difference between oscillator oriented indicators can help you out in the long run when deciding what oscillator indicator to use in a binary options trading strategy. Now basics of oscillator indicators. It is important to understand that all indicators that exhibit oscillator type of characteristics fluctuate either above or below a center line in between two values that dictate the current market condition of the asset. There are two types of oscillators. The first would be a centerline oscillator and the second would be a banded oscillator. First off, centerline oscillators. Centerline oscillators are the most commonly used oscillators when trading binary options. Common indicators that are centerline oscillators would be the MACD, Moving Average Convergence Divergence Indicator, and the ROC indicator, otherwise known as the Rate of Change. The MAC indicator is known as a trend following type of indicator which makes it extremely useful when they are used in trend trading strategies. The main function of the ROC, remember the rate of change indicator, is to measure the percentage of price change over a given period of time. If the percentage represented is above the center line, then the asset is currently displaying a bullish change. However, if the percentage is below the center line, then the asset is displaying bearish characteristics. Another function of the centerline oscillators is that they can determine and show the relative strength of direction that is shown during the asset's price action. So it kind of measures the momentum of our target asset's price action as well. Now on the other hand, banded oscillators. These types of oscillators are becoming more and more popular due to the fact that they can help traders predict whether an asset is displaying an extreme or not. Knowing the market conditions of our target asset is a great advantage in determining whether or not a trade should be placed or not. A couple, a common type of banded oscillator would be the stochastic oscillator, and another one would be the RSI, otherwise known as our relative strength index indicator. Both of these indicators will show you whether or not the market conditions of our asset that you're watching are either being overbought, oversold, or neutral meaning that it's not exhibiting either any of the two extremes. However, there is a band escalator that does not reflect an asset's market conditions, and that would be the CCI indicator, otherwise known as a commodity channel index indicator. This oscillator is unbounded, meaning that it doesn't reflect values that should be that should show market conditions of the asset, meaning it will not display any extremes of our targeted asset. So if you're looking to use a reversal type of trading strategy, then banded oscillators are for you. If you're not really focusing on a reversal oriented trading strategy, then centerline oscillators are for you. And as always guys, if you have any questions about what type of oscillators that you should use, the time frames, the assets, the time of day, so forth, if you have any questions regarding any of that, please don't hesitate to ask me. You can get a hold of me whether it be through YouTube, it can be a message or a comment. Um, I do prefer email though, and I do try to get back within within 12 hours to everyone. I am receiving a decent amount of emails per day now, so I just would kind of like to have it um, most inquiries be set up through email. Um, anyway guys, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Stay tuned for more videos, and stay tuned for more videos to come.